Hi friends, what should we do today? Well first there's something I want to show you out here on the lake. Oh. Hello. Well that's not what I wanted to show you. Uh, well, are you going to come see me? Not until the rope gets longer. Oh, look there. There's a boat-tailed grackle. What's he doing? What I wanted to show you is, out there in the lake, it's full of lirio this morning. Oh, the cormorants, they're not there. They're out fishing for breakfast. You can see out there, there's lots of lirio, water hyacinth, floating all over in the lake. When you see this in the morning, it means they let more water into the lake from the river, and it fills the lake enough that sometimes the water could be three, four feet closer to the house in the morning. Condito mowed the lawn yesterday. Looks nice, huh? Somebody asked me about gardening the other day. I was talking about the gardens are full of weeds. Well, those are the weeds. And these are the weeds. The grass looks nice, but the cactus garden is all overgrown. It needs a lot of attention, too. And down here, one of my rock pieces came up. We call that uh, Piedras Laja. In the United States, I think they call it flagstone. What else I'm going to do today is we're going to go pay some bills. Come on along. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Did you want to be on YouTube today? Um, no. No? No. Okay. Got no songs for us? No nothing? Nothing. I'm not waking up yet. Okay. Tell me later. Okay. Bye. I'm going to, Bye. I'm going to pay some bills. Uh, no, you got paid already. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what bills are we going to pay? Well... Uh, I'm going to go and pay for my property taxes and I'm going to go and pay for my license plates on the van, the BMW, and the Honda Quattromoto. What? Which stores are you going to? I'm not going to stores. Why? You need something? I was going to stop at Walmart and uh, get some more cash to pay for the property taxes. Yeah. Did you want something from the store? I don't think so. Well? I, I just like, like to know. You're just making conversation. Yeah. While I'm clear out there by the carport. Right. <laughs> Where were we? Uh... You get a discount on your taxes and your uh, car tags if you pay early in the year. Well, I think it's uh, the 3rd of September. I'm not going to get a discount, so we'll see how much they cost full price. And uh, if you stick with the rest of the video, you'll see how much property taxes and car tags do cost. In Ajiji, uh, Jalisco, Mexico, actually Chapala, which is the government that controls Ahihik and where you pay your taxes. So we're going to uh, Chapala. Why am I going to walk back to the house, you may ask? Well, let's talk about this. I'm 75 years old. I used to be a really smart guy. I'm still fairly okay. But, you know, you forget things. 
I'm going back for my keys. You ask what now? Yeah. <clears throat> Are you sure you want to know? Got the, the lens cover over it. No, I don't. <laughs> made me look. Ah, uh, I forgot my keys. Okay, got the keys. What's your next trip going to be bad for? Just to no, see how okay. cute you are. No, I'm not. Get out of here. <laughs> Where's the butterfly? Where's the butterfly? Right over my head. You left the door open. Oh! No, he's up there in the balcony. No, no, he's out. No. He's out. He's on the other side of no, the no, island. Never mind. I'm making all my friends dizzy. If you stick with me till the end of the video, I'll tell you how much the property taxes are this year on my house here and how much the car tags are on all three of them. Oh, look. More guacamole falling out of the sky. Oh. Look at that. Somebody asked me if these are as good as Haas. Actually, uh, I like them better. They're creamier. I think uh, guacamole falling out of the sky is uh, just a saying. Nope, it's not. Look at this. I guess I showed you all that in my last video. So the three cars I'm paying the, uh, it's my BMW, my van, and over there, a uh, four-wheel ATV, Honda. We call them Quattromotos here. And it's the first one of my videos you ever, ever watched. When I say I'm going to pay my property taxes, I'm talking about on that property. So why do I wait till September to pay for my property taxes and my uh, car plates? Well, we came home in March and very shortly, put ourselves into quarantine because of the virus and we're going out a little bit more being careful trying to socially distance always wearing a mask if I'm not in the van there is a Jeep Liberty I think I'm gonna buy one of those to uh, trade out my Suzuki Sidekick in Arizona as the toad for my motorhome. I've been looking at them. A little more comfortable for Lynn and uh, four-wheel drive off-road capable. Probably can't go as many places as easily without modifications as I would go with my little Suzuki sidekick which will go any place you want to go or need to go it'll go places a Hummer won't go because it's narrower um, I have mixed emotions about that I'm kind of serious about this I'm looking forward to uh, having something different but I've had that little Suzuki for Wow, 20 years, and um, I'm on the third engine, well, second engine, second rebuild, and uh, it runs good, it's in great shape, um, everything works, it's got air conditioning, doesn't have power steering, but it's just um, going to be a little more comfortable for Lynn, I think, in a larger, heavier vehicle. It only weighs 2,500 pounds, probably 26, uh, full of my stuff and a full tank of gas. But with the 350 turbo Cummings, 
has no uh, problem pulling it. It doesn't even know it's back there. But um, the motorhome won't have any trouble pulling a 45, 48 um, hundred pound vehicle either. So that's not a consideration. Uh, I don't have auxiliary brakes on the Suzuki. Never felt I needed them for such a little light vehicle. Being pulled by 42,000 pounds of motorhome with air brakes. But for a heavier vehicle, um, not only for safety purposes, but probably legalities, uh, I would need to get uh, brakes, and uh, that's going to be another thousand dollars if I install it myself, and probably fifteen, sixteen hundred if I have somebody else do it. I probably would do it myself, depending on which system I get. Um, and a tow bar, that's another five hundred bucks. Um, not a tow bar, I've already got the tow bar, it's an Excalibur, a Demco Excalibur. Uh, so I would need a different base plate. Um, shopping for one in uh, Craigslist, I saw one in Dallas uh, last week that already had the braking system and the Roadmaster tow bars and you can get a conversion to go from one brand of tow bar to another. So a Demco to Roadmaster conversion was readily available and doesn't cost too much, less than a hundred bucks. But um, I had my daughter run a Carfax on it and turns out that it had been in an accident twice. Plus, it was listed as um, possibly having been a rental vehicle in its early life. Mileage wasn't terrible, but uh, I don't know yet if the Jeep Liberty um, turns the odometer when you're towing it. If somebody out there knows that, let me know in the comments. Anyway, I saw a Jeep Liberty back there. I, it's actually following me. They are fully uh, trail rated. Anyway, enough about that. I didn't want to start talking about a Jeep Liberty today, but sometimes the channel is just about what's on my mind today. We're going to go into City Hall here in Chapala. This is where you pay your property taxes if you are a property owner. Most of Mexico gives senior citizens, uh, people 60 years or older, a 50% discount on their property taxes, sometimes their water bill. They don't do it here in Chapala because there are so many expats that it would be a significant part of their city budget. They do do it in Hokotepec, 50% off of your property taxes if you are 60 years old or older and a property owner. Uh, they're figuring my taxes. It's not going to be terrible anyway even without the 50% discount. Sorry about my camera work today. I only brought my iPhone. Just trying to give you a sense of City Hall. It used to be a hotel, a 23-room hotel. So I paid my taxes for both properties combined. I actually have two uh, properties. And... Uh, Combined 7,930 pesos. That comes out to 360 US dollars for the year. And that's without any discount. You get a discount uh, like 
I don't know, I think it's like 15% off if you pay in January and 10% if you pay in February and less if you pay in March. And um, I don't know if those are exact percentages, but it's something like that. Anyway, that's the full amount um, paid way late, 360 U.S. dollars, and that includes garbage service three days a week. Now we're on the way to where you pay for your license plates, and one of the things that you should know is if you get a ticket during the year, and you don't pay it, um, you will be charged for it when you go to pay your license plate fee. If you pay a traffic infraction ticket right away, it's like half price if you pay within five days. Anyway, if you don't, they're going to get you when you come to pay your license uh, fee. My license fees for the van were 721 pesos, that's 33 US dollars for the year. Same thing for the BMW, $33 a year. And for the Quattromoto, the Honda Foreman ATV was $14.59 US dollars. Those numbers are one of the reasons that my principal residence is in Mexico. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.